Hello everyone and welcome to Jojo's Brick Time. Time to take a look at the Woolworths Brick Farm sets that you have to buy, the, or the ones in the boxes you got to buy. And these ones in the packet you get free every time you spend $30 you get one packet. With the animals here I bought six of them because I really liked the look of them. And I bought the tractor and the truck just because I wanted to and I really like that farm. Let's start with the animals. So I think this was $5 for all these animals and I bought it especially for the piggy and the cat and actually I bought it for all the animals because I love them. Let's take a peek. So it's quite a large box for all these guys. We get this paper here showing us what's in the box and the lady there, not very important. Let's see what these guys look like. I really love the look of them. We have the baby cow here. It's got little dark eyes so you can't really see. And this is a mama cow, I'm going to call her Bessie, and she has those white spots. And this pig, Sir Oinkalot, oh, I love his little eyebrows. And the baby pig, look at the eyebrows there, looks surprised. And this must be a blue healer dog. And you get two chickies here. I love the look of those chickens. So this is a Lego chalk. And there's a little bit more detail on the wings with the Woolworths one. And I actually really like it. It looks like a Shaun the Sheep chicken. Um, eggs. Now I love the Woolworths eggs. They're a lot smaller and a little bit more realistic than the Lego one. The Lego Jumbo eggs. And two different coloured eggs there. And the cat. I love the ginger cat. It's so cute. And my cat's sniffing around having a look. What do you think, Mickey? Yes, he approves of the cat. These are the packets you get. So they're like paper packets. So every time you spend $30, you get one packet. And what did I get? A dog. And this one looks like a Kelpie dog. Now I had to wait to do this video because I had to try and collect as many parts as I could for this farm. And my beautiful friend Ingrid helped me get lots of these as well because she shops at Woolies. So I've got lots of doubles, triples, quadruples of things and some are really hard to get. I have heaps of those drones and heaps of the Kelpie dogs and blueberry bushes. So these guys here are number two, three and four. That's the beekeeper lady. So with these minifigs you've got to stick the clothes onto them. They look alright, like, yeah, they're okay, I don't mind them, but I really want to show you all the food and other bits and bobs because they're pretty cool. And there are three things I could not get, they must be quite hard to get maybe. So I've ticked everything that I have and we're going to take a look at everything that I got. Number five is the Scarecrow and he looks pretty cool. So his arms are from the bread bags from last year which I find really funny. Love his little head and that hat. Number six is the Kelpie dog. Well I'm guessing it's the Kelpie dog. He's got a good shape and look at this. He's got lots of brothers and sisters. <laughs> That's how many actually my kids have got another two. Number seven, Bessie the cow. I love her, love her markings and she gives us milk. Kevin the kookaburra is number eight and I love that they included an Australian native bird. Love his markings and I got three of those and they're gonna go into some of my houses. Number nine, Henny Penny. Love the chook and she comes with two sets of eggs. Number 10 is a beehive and there's lots of bees hanging around the front. There's a little daisy on the back there and a woolly sign on top. I wasn't able to get the bale of hay number 11. Number 12's cool. We've got butter, full cream milk here, a milk pail thing. I love that. What a cool looking thing. I wish Lego made one of these. And then we get some tasty cheese. 
three jars of honey our number 13 they are cool they were really hard to get my mum actually got those ones for me number 14 we get avocado v-nets in a jar and this cauliflower i love the look of that i want more of those and we get one carrot 15 two bags of wheat come in this set and you can stick those stickers on and i love this round bread that's a cool shape so we get baguettes with lego but now we actually get a loaf of bread which i love and i can't wait to use number 16 is a crate of potatoes in this green crate so you pop the stickers on but it only comes with three potatoes lucky i got all these so i am going to pull out some of them and stick them into one crate number 17 a crate of carrots and we get three in that one and then we get a crate of pears for number 18 i love the look of these green pears they like to roll away let's take a look and it actually looks like a pear i cannot wait to put these into one of my grocery stores or supermarkets Number 19 is the Odd Bunch and we get some funny looking carrots because in Australia we sell everything and we sell carrots that bounce. No, we sell carrots that have extra body parts. Like this one looks like it's got an arm so that's a perfect carrot and this one's got a little arm and leg. Love them. Number 20 is the crate of macro organic fruit and veg. And I love that I get some more broccoli because last year I got broccoli. So that's that one there. Love that dark green. Wish Lego would make that. And these bunch of bananas. Super excited about. And we get this little red apple with a little stalk. Number 21, a crate of fresh berries. So there's strawberries and only two blueberries in here. 22 is a tomato plant and I love the look of this but I wish there was more tomatoes growing. Number 23 is a strawberry bush. Love the shape of that and you can stick more strawberries on the back. And then we get a blueberry bush for 24. Same as the other one just with blueberries and they have multiplied <laughs> so much. That's how many I've received. Can't wait to use them. And now we get these cauliflowers, number 25. I love the look of these and I would have loved so many more. Number 26 is lettuces and they're gorgeous. I only got one set. I would have loved more. And then we get some baby carrots for number 27. But I love their little carrot tops, those little flowers. So here's a little Lego flower shape there and take a look there the leaves of the woolies one are a little bit upturned they look cool and then we get broccoli growing for number 28 and they sit in these little cups like the lettuce and the cauliflower did and you just stick the little broccoli in there i really want more of these ones 29 is some corn and oh, I love the stalks of these corn they look really good I wish I got more of these I only got one set but I got a few of these this is wheat for number 30 and then we get these banana trees number 31 and I love how it grows a bunch of bananas on this tropical looking banana tree I have quite a few of these. It's like I live in Queensland because that's where all the bananas grow and up in Carnarvon. I am unlucky and I don't have the avocado tree. Number 33 is the orange tree and that leaf part looks exactly like a Lego part. They've done so well and they just use the strawberry and blueberry bush for the top of the orange tree which is great use of parts. And then we get the apple tree number 34 same as the orange tree and they just reuse some parts. 35 is just this picket fence. 
nothing too flash here, just a brown fence. And then we get this compost bin for number 36. This is awesome. Now, I wish they did a worm farm as well, but this is where you put all your scraps of veggies and fruit. Number 37 is a watering trough for all the animals to drink out of. Love the little spout there and the little tap has the little flower piece on there. That's really nice. And then we get some solar panels for number 38 because this farm has gone green. And they're nice big solar panels and they're going to go on top of the farm build. Number 39, we get a drone. So the farmer of this farm has gone high tech here. <laughs> he will be flying around above looking at all his crops. Love that. And look how many I got. I think I need to open up an electronics store to sell all these. And the last one, number 40, we get the hen house with a bunch of eggs there. And you get to pop the stickers on. There's like a little baby chicken inside. So this is just one of those crates with a sloped brick part and you can put your eggs inside to keep them safe away from all the snakes. Alrighty, let's check out this farm truck. So I had to buy this one. I think it was about $10. So I thought it was quite expensive when I first bought it. I think it's a lot cheaper now. So let's see what we get in here. And there's lots of brick parts here. I think it'll be pretty easy to build so everyone can build this. And we get some crates. And what else? Oh, this hat. I love the look of that hat. So I was looking around for the instructions and stickers and they're still stuck in the box and I cannot get them out. So I'm going to have to rip apart this box and look, they were stuck. <laughs> they were actually glued to the box. So this is what they look like. Looks like my dog shredded it. Anyway, I will be able to build it. Here's the sticker sheet just to decorate the truck a little bit. Alrighty, let's get ready to build. This is the little truck driver that comes with the set. I just wanted to show you what these little mini figs look like. You gotta pop their arms on, the head and the hat, and oh, he's saying hello, bending over. Love the look of that hat. And let's build this truck. It is very easy to build. And if you can't buy one of these, you can easily build it out of Lego. Time to decorate it now with all those stickers and got to pop the crates at the back. That's the truck. So pretty easy, simple build. We're going to pop the truck driver in and he's not going in. What is going on? We've got to turn his hat around. Okay, so he's not the easiest to put in. Every farm needs a tractor, so I bought this little tractor and you get a lady to drive it around and yes this time my instructions aren't stuck and this tractor is very simple to build also I love the different shades of green on it so I've popped the stickers on and it actually looks like a real tractor that's really cool so we're gonna pop this lady in that came with the set she's going to go in hopefully easily no must be their hair pieces they don't like all right let's clip you in and off you go wow you drive faster than the truck now this is the farm shed so i'm guessing you park the tractor and the truck here that's why i bought it and you always need a shed with lots of tools for your farm this looks like a pretty straightforward build and lots of stickers here to add lots of detail in. Rex the dog and we get lots of tools and I think that was a first aid kit. This base plate has love hearts underneath. That's so cute and great quality. Let's pop Rex's kennel in and all the first aid tools and kits and everything else. 
and then this one here oh we get a solar panel junction box there so this shed's gone green also there's some gum boots there and a kookaburra on the back and we got to pop a door on because that's where all the tools are hidden so we got to keep everything nice and neat and we get more garden tools and some seeds there I think I saw let's continue building In this set you get three bales of hay so I didn't completely miss out on the hay and we're going to park the tractor in the shed. No we're not, it doesn't fit. Really? Okay, let's try the truck because we're going to pick up some deliveries and same thing. What is going on? It doesn't fit. Okay, simple fix, increase it by one brick height from the bottom. Now we've got the brick farm and you get to write your name and who it belongs to. I really like the look of this and this is where you're going to put all the packets that you have collected. So you pop it in, in this set and we get this one big piece so that's like a roof part and we get a whole stack of stickers again. We get a wheelie bin sticker, that's really fuzzy. And we've got a cat there in the window, quite a few parts there, and this big base plate, more love hearts to show that they love us. Alright, let's start this farmhouse. Need to pop in this cabinet here with food inside, and then there's going to be a little stove. So they give you stickers there for the little oven. And then you have this little range hood above and this cute little farmhouse door goes in so it's not a very large house it's big enough to play with and we'll pop that roof on and we need more stickers inside for decoration so that looks cool we've got to pop the wheelie bin sticker on uh, we need to recycle there and I don't know if I'm gonna put that on there I might put that on later and they want us to put the trellis sticker on now. It is very awkward. That should have been put on before I did the roof. I'm trying to get it as neat as I can. Okay, I think I got it in there. Now we need some railings. So they go around the house. And there's two different colours, so use the lighter one. And there's one more sticker. So we've got some flower pots to put on the veranda there. Okay, I think I got it as neat as I could. All right, let's pop it here on the farm. Need a set of steps to go up to the house. And this farm belongs to Jojo's Brick Time. It's my farm, no one else's farm, so <laughs> please don't touch. Putting the little picket fence in there and then I have to put in all those 40 packets of things that I've collected. That's all done so I just need three more things to complete this farm but I think it's pretty good as it is. So I'm a bit disappointed with the tractor and the truck not fitting into that shed but I love this farm setup. The little farmhouse is gorgeous with all the foods and bits and bobs with it. I love all the fruit and veggies and the little animals that came with it and I want more of that so I can put into my supermarkets and little grocery stores. So everyone, get your bricks out. <laughs>